So um, we know there is Asus uh, ROG Phone 2 uh, announced and coming soon. And recently now Xiaomi unveiled um, and is marketing now um, its uh, phone, uh, the uh, Black Shark 2 Pro, I think even it's called. Both of them, like Asus uh, phone, this has 855 plus. And I think like the Asus phone, this has UFS 3.0 uh, uh, storage. And uh, it starts with, I think, less uh, memory and such. But let me just show the common specs. It also has high definition, uh, full high definition plus AMOLED. Uh, screen. Uh, I think it's also Gorilla Glass 6, just like the Asus, Asus phone Gorilla Glass 6. I'm looking at both Anantech and uh, GPS uh, Arena uh, specs and comparing them. And um, yeah, there are a couple of differences, but the biggest difference is the price. The price of this phone, this Black Shark 2, uh, apparently it starts with approximately four hundred dollars and for the 256 gigabyte version will be 250 dollars for the uh, right now i think for the chinese uh, market it is like that and probably for the western market it's going to be like that asus rog phone 2 um, starts from 900 dollars so we are looking at half the price and in fact even a uh, some less uh, starting price for the uh, very base model of this and that's for a Snapdragon 855 plus chip this is maybe the cheapest and among the most affordable fastest CPU containing phones and will be uh, once you get your hands on it so this is a big plus now I'm gonna be talking about a couple of uh, Asus advantages Asus is slightly a larger phone, um, which means screen is slightly bigger, 6.59 versus 6.39. This is a minuscule uh, advantage. Uh, one important advantage is that Asus has 120 Hz refresh rate of screen, uh, not the touch sensing, which is 240 Hz for both of them, but refresh rate is probably just 60 Hz for the Xiaomi. So yes, this makes the Asus phone more uh, gaming oriented. Uh, the cameras are pretty much the same. Um, there is a headphone jack for the Asus phone. And for the uh, Xiaomi phone, I think there is no headphone jack, apparently. This is the second uh, advantage of the um, Asus phone. So uh, we are looking at uh, something that you can connect your yes uh, cable uh, phone to there. Uh, another thing is Asus phone has USB type uh, 3.1 C port, whereas um, Xiaomi has 2.0. I don't know uh, if the Asus one will support uh, display output. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, and another plus for the Asus phone is the battery. So it has 6000 mAh battery, whereas the Xiaomi has 4000 mAh battery, so 50% uh, more battery for the uh, Asus uh, one there, and that's again an uh, important actually uh, issue, uh, important uh, thing to consider there. Um, in terms of, of selfie camera, one is 20 and the Asus one is 24 uh, megapixel, that's not that much of a difference there. NFC, yeah, it is there. Better charging, 30 watt hour versus 27 uh, watt. Uh, sorry, watt and watt uh, batteries, uh, as I recall. Uh, so it's not that much of a uh, difference there. There is reverse charging for Asus. I don't know if there's going to be reverse charging uh, for uh, the Xiaomi. Xiaomi, however, has now one advantage. Yes, it's slightly smaller and it's also um, slightly lighter. So a Xiaomi phone is going to be 205 gram, whereas uh, the Asus phone is uh, 240 gram, so 35 gram heavier. This might not sound a lot, 35 gram is you know quite light, but if you are holding something like this for a long time, for gaming, uh, for many hours, you will feel it, especially if you are holding the phone like this, like in your hand, for a while, like after holding it like five minutes, six minutes and such, 
um, I'm a slim person, uh, not strong at, at all. So my arm starts to feel the weight of carrying something and somebody uh, using a lot of shooting uh, will be actually um, feeling that. So in other words, um, Asus has the refresh rate advantage. It has the uh, faster uh, data transfer advantage with USB. It has more uh, battery uh, in it and it has the headphone jack. Okay, so these are four main points of advantage. I don't know anything about RGB lighting, which I don't care, to be honest. Um, and all, I cannot, of course, tell you anything about phone quality and whatnot. Whereas the Xiaomi's advantages, it's a bit lighter, uh, but you might feel it. And uh, the second and most important advantage is the price. It's way cheaper. It's 50%, if not less, uh, than the Asus phone. And this is something to consider. You drop the phone and the screen, like say, uh, gets shattered or something breaks or uh, none of them seem to have any water protection. You drop it into water and the phone is dead. In one case, it's a loss of $900. In another case, it's a loss of $400. That's, that's insane. Both of them have expanded storage. So uh, yes, Asus phone might have maybe more uh, base memory than the um, Xiaomi, I think Xiaomi might start as low as uh, 6 gigabyte of memory, which is actually fine even if it is uh, starting like that. Uh, and in terms of camera, I think they are, you, they are pixel amount same, I don't know the actual sensor and such about it. But um, if you are like changing phones every two year or so uh, and money is an issue, Xiaomi feels it's going to be the better buy. If money is not an issue, of course, uh, you probably will be uh, leaning towards Asus. I don't know if Asus includes accessories. It has some, you know, fan accessory and etc. Uh, if it's included in the price, that might uh, maybe tempt you a bit. And of course, you will be on the go much more uh, with it. But it's also a heavier phone. So I will see how the quality of these two phones compare. But before they are, like, uh, commonly available, I would say... Uh, Xiaomi Black Shark 2 Pro is uh, just from a price perspective uh, and being uh, more handy and light uh, is going to be the better phone. It's just also a bit thicker, by the way, almost a centimeter, 9.5 millimeter. So we'll see how those two will compare in real life.